Hello, Zipard, and welcome back to Plans vs. Zombies Heroes, and Season 5 has begun, which is sort of embarrassing for me, because my most recent episode of PBZ Heroes was talking about how Season 4 began. I haven't had time to make an episode of PBZ Heroes, but I have definitely been on the ranking climb, and as you can see, for the very first time ever, I reached Taco League. I reached Taco League 40, so I basically got the Taco League and just totally stopped playing for a couple weeks, or I guess a couple days, really, not even a couple weeks, just because things have been super duper busy for me of course there's tons of new games coming out but of course i gotta give the love to pvc heroes um yeah the game's almost been out for an entire year now it released like what late october so at the end of season four beginning season five let's claim our rewards i'm so glad to have been able to reach taco league awesome awesome stuff so we get uh two normal packs and four galactic here, I always get them confused. Two of one, four of the other, six in total, which is fantastic. Hopefully we get some pretty great stuff in here. We get some uncommon, so you know, you gotta get with the basic stuff first and then you can move forward. But yeah, I've been playing a lot of the game, mostly been playing the Smash, but we'll try to get started on uh, some different stuff today. Well, maybe I'll show off the Smash, just because I'll sort of show you guys what I use to climb in season four. Wow, I didn't get much there at all. Okay, I thought I was gonna get like at least one super rare. I mean, I get uh, cards are cards. Are any of these not duplicates for me? That's my fifth cosmic nut. Fifth, fifth. Oh, oh, hey. Okay, cool. I got that. Um, ten extra, ten free gems. Uh, game sort of is glitching out on me here. Okay. Uh, I I'm stuck. <laughs> what? Okay, so the game is sort of locked up there. I'm just gonna see the ones we haven't checked out, uh, which is this guy, we have five of him, we have five of him, and we have five of So yeah, every single thing we got in this pack was a duplicate. But hey, that just means free sparks so I can get whatever I want. Entering season five, what do we got here? What are we gonna start at? Hopefully like diamond, that would be really nice. We start at gold. I think that's what we started at last time. Okay, well, not the end of the world. Season five has begun. We're starting at level 20, which is gold league. Okay, so I will try my best. I said I will try to get to ultimate league in this season. Who knows? Who doesn't know? I don't, but we can go ahead and check out some other stuff really quickly. First off, let's check, take a look at our collection. At the end of today's video, I definitely will be doing a spending spree to celebrate the release of season five. We got 875 sparks. We'll go ahead and get all that. Nice and fun. And also we got all of the uh, most recent event card as you can see right here, which is the uh, catch-up mechanic. I've gotten all the event cards recently. I haven't missed out on any. But um, if I close out of that, and then we can check out this week's event card, which should be, oh yeah, the scaredy cat. Actually, I really want that. I'm tempted just to buy that all with gems right now because that would be perfect for my Smash Pet deck, which we're gonna be showing off m m mostly today, majoritorily today, will be the Smash Pet deck, because that's really what I've been using to climb. Which characters do I need to play for the time setting to play Z-Mac? Okay, but if I take a look at my Smash deck here, basically it is a variation of the Furry Friends. So the Furry Friends is actually a pretty easy to complete strategy deck, as you can see here. As long as you have the required event cards, like the Turkey Rider and uh, actually, that's it. That's the only event card. Beyond that, you know, it's just having one legendary, and then it's um, having some other particular things. But what I did is I sort of very made a variation of this. It's useful to have the Cosmic Yeti because one thing that happens with this deck and this character is that he gets card deprivation very quickly. If you run out of cards and you don't have a strong set of cards on the field, your chances are you're going to lose. And Cosmic Yeti sort of helps change that. But the zombie yeti is sort of taking up space. He's a similar cost, a little lower, um, but the extra plus one doesn't really help me too much, especially since it's a gourmet trick and not a plant trick. So what I did instead is I made a variation of that, replacing the yeti with another event card that I've talked about a lot. Um, it is the hover goat. So basically, I think that's really the only major change I have in this deck right now. I don't see anything else at a glance, but this replaces with, with the... Um, Hover Goat, and the Hover Goat is a very, very good card. I only have three of them, because I definitely messed up, and at some point, I uh, I thought that I had four of them, so I you know, was like, hey, last chance to get this card. I'm like, okay, I have it, and I didn't have it, so I messed out on my fourth Hover Goat. I'll get him eventually. Three is all I need for right now, because I'm only using two, but the thing about him, of course, is that he gets he gives another zombie plus two, too, but he's also a pet, so he's gonna give Zookeepers plus one across all animal or pet 
zombies, he's going to give uh, the cat lady plus three damage and then, you know, give somebody plus two, two. And the more important thing is that when her bounce this goat, so that can be stacked multiple times, we could put this in front of a one damage or a two damage plant, be able to damage that one plant, boost all those characters we just mentioned, and then be knocked back to our hand so that we can do it again the next turn. And that can get really messy for the enemies depending on what you have. You know, if you are playing something with maybe low damage, but it's a lot of true strike, that can be a lot to deal with. Now, I would like to go ahead and get our times 10 out of the way before we play some Smash stuff, but I don't really know if I have anything that's really good for um, ZMAC right now. Like, I have some stuff, like Sporting, the Sporting Unlife is probably my best bet when it comes to uh, getting a ranked one, and hopefully we can survive because it is gold. Gold isn't usually impossibly tough, but we're early season, so we could be playing against, you know, top level, you know, players from last season that are just starting over in gold. Who knows? I mean, my ranked, my ranked stuff was actually very interesting because my farthest I got into ranked before this was I think like ranked 34, maybe ranked 35, but this time I got all the way up to 40, which was totally new territory. And I'll tell you, it was really weird. I'm gonna get rid of Yoon. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, it was really weird because I found myself going on winning streaks against ultimate level players, level 50s, but then I would get my butt beat by like level early 30s every single time like it wasn't just like a few odd occasions that made me think it was every single time i would always be an ultimate league player and i'd always get beat by level 30 players and i was like what is the deal and my only like thing i could come to a conclusion on is that once you reach level 50 no matter how many times you lose you're gonna still keep you're gonna stay level 50 that's just how it works so i was sort of starting to get curious um i was actually starting to wonder maybe it's the fact that once people reach level 15, they just start trying new strategies. Strategies where they're not too confident in it, probably not too good, but it doesn't matter if they win or lose because I'm gonna do this because, you know, it won't destroy this guy, but it will at least get rid of the um, the sunflower, which to me is a lot more beneficial. We're gonna get hurt a little bit this turn. But that's okay. But I think that might be it. what ends up happening. Of course, people climbing in Diamond and Taco League, they're pulling out their absolute best strategy so, they, that they, that, so that they can go a little bit farther in ranked. But people at rank 50, they don't need to get farther in ranked. So they just play whatever strategy they want, good or bad, to test out the waters against some higher bracket of players. Of course, you can do that in casual, but you might be playing against somebody who installed the game 10 minutes ago who, or who installed it back when it was only available in like, uh, New Zealand, <laughs> like me, even though I'm not that good. Um, okay, that's not too bad. Okay, he's gonna, ah, wow, wow, that's actually not bad. I mean, you're only healing yourself and that guy, which, you know, isn't the most effective use of it, but at the same time, it doesn't look like he's going full on hard to choke heal strat here, so maybe I'm getting a little too into it. All right, well. We did what we could there, nothing fantastic. It'll be nice turn six when we get this guy at the defensive end. Of course, he's armored one and plant tricks cost two more. I think this guy might be a little more dependent on the tricks and he's you know letting it known so far, so hopefully that'll be good. Hmm, is this a gravestone? I really wish it was a gravestone, but it is not, alas, alas. Let me go ahead and play an all-star, a cosmic star. I wish this was an actual Guard of Warfare 2 variant, that'd be fun. Um, wow, that's actually not bad right there, I like that. And then we'll go ahead and throw you out. So no matter what, he's gonna, he's gonna have to deal with damage somewhere here, unless he can get something on all three lanes. I mean, you could do that with four sun. Be, I, I'm probably gonna be rusty today just because I haven't played much. I'm definitely not playing that great here. And that's just because, like I said, I've never even really played this deck before. I don't play too much Z-Mac, but I didn't wanna get times five tickets when I could be getting times 10. And you know what? It's a new season. Time to try something new. I'm gonna be buying a bunch of gems worth of packs at the end of today's episode so that maybe we can get more cards to open up more strategies, because that's really the thing. I would be trying more strategies if I just had a little bit more cards. Like, I have a little bit of everything right now, but I don't have enough to finish too many strategy decks. So hopefully, if I don't finish some stuff today, I can at least make it so that I can um, finish them next time. Okay, so how do I wanna set this up? Chances are he's not gonna throw a team up card here, so I could have the survive and also boost the damage of other people. And then I could put you here. I've sort of put myself in a weird corner with this one. Um, well, you were a free card. It's not the end of the world. Let's see what he does with all that. He has five suns, so he can make some stuff work, but nothing that's gonna totally ruin my day, I don't think. Destroys, I mean, oh, well, he could do that. I mean, yeah. 
but I mean, I guess, you know, some things still survive here. We're actually even on health, which to me is surprising enough. We haven't gotten our um, shield yet. He's already gotten one shield and he's about to get his second. So that's not the most fair thing in the world, but you know what, we're doing what we can. So, just in case, I can throw this out now. And if he does have another squash, he can't squash me because it would cost seven now. So that's a decent strategy for now, and I'll also get rid of one of these cards that is causing me issues. That'll be fine. Of course, there's plenty more he could still do. He could play, throw out a signature. That would cost three, though, and chop his son in half. He definitely has to be a lot more frugal now. That's not a big deal. Oh, that's a big deal. How much is that gonna be? Six. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, that's really gonna hurt. But it's only gonna hurt for this turn, and the next turn I should be able to remedy that just fine. This is only gonna do one damage to you and that hurts a lot. But if I could just get my shield activated, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> Ooh, I could play another one. That would be good, but it's also not that great right now. It would be cool to have plus four. Uh, ooh, that would be great right now. That's actually a good cost, but I don't really need it right now, so we should make the more expensive choice now so that we can have that for later. That might be a better choice. Okay. I mean, I would sort of like it if, she, uh, if he took out my tennis player at this point. That would be fun. Ah, here it is. Don't worry, I have another one for next turn. That was a good move by him, but he's gonna have to have more squashes. Like, how many are, I wonder if he has all four squashes. I mean, what if those other, like, two out of those three cards are gonna be squashed? I'm not sure. All right, well, that was not a good, uh, I guess, amount of luck there. So unless I find a way to take care of the Peapot here on the right, I will eventually die here, and that won't be good. Uh, no, come on! Wow! All kinds of wow there. That was that was a great combination of luck, but really? All right, we're gonna see what our plant character is for times 10. What is our plant? Don't expect me to win anything today. I'm just gonna tell you right now. Don't expect me to win. Don't get your hopes up. Oh, Captain Combustible, we haven't been playing him much at all. I really don't know what I could do with this. I mean, our closest thing we got finished off is this, which is the Poison Powerhouse but we don't have really the thing that makes this deck truly work, which is going to be the potted powerhouse. So that's sort of the thing. I might have like a three cards away from finishing a strategy deck, but if those three cards define the strategy deck, it doesn't matter, you know? Here we have, um, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to take, take a look at it. This is pair up. We're missing some cards here, not everything, but obviously the idea is to get some good stuff going when it comes to pairs. This seems okay. I, I think I'll let it auto-generate the rest and hopefully we can get an easy win. I mean, once again, I'm not going under level 20 ranked. And once we do this, I can hopefully get times 10 and maybe we can jam out on a round with um, the Smash. If I can't win this round, we'll go ahead and just play the Smash anyways, but I just wanted to get the times 10. Is that so much to ask for? I just want to get closer to that scaredy cat. It would be perfect. I really wish that uh, the Smash had times 10 for this. That would have been all kinds of perfect, but he does not. So, oh well. Okay. I have some decent odds here. Hopefully I can make it work. Hmm. Okay, like I said, I don't play much Captain Combustible, so this will be a bit of an experience. I think I'll go ahead and do this. Now this gives everybody like a huge boost, right? Plus five, five, that is scary. But I wanna get a little low cost out there right now. Okay, that could have been better, could have been worse. I mean, really what I could do, I mean, I guess I can't, Never mind. Hmm, yeah, never mind. Strategy doesn't make any sense. Let's wait it out, because we do have some things that definitely could work. When you play a plant here, make one one puff shroom, you're just gonna draw three cards. Not too much I can do about that. Okay, lots of stuff going on. Like, we have a lot of strategies here. I think maybe I could stall it out for a little bit. That would be good. Is that just, wait, this looks weird. Para Paris. Did they change the art to Para Paris? I feel like that doesn't look right. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Uh, for right now, like I said, I, I definitely wanna like totally stall out. So I think I'm going to uh, not play anything this turn. <laughs> like I wonder if I can wait till turn four. I mean, obviously that's just a barrel sitting there. If not much more happens, not much more happens. Hmm, if I could wait, like now that I have multiple options, I could wait till turn four and if he tries to put anything in the way of it. I mean, definitely, let's try to throw the environment up now. I'm gonna guess he has a three cost. Uh, yeah, okay. I thought that was a four cost. I might be wrong with that. It might have always been three cost. So we have a few options here. I think my best answer to them, 
Like, I can either, and, ooh, I have just so much I could do here. Obviously, this guy's gonna pack a bigger punch, though, so I think we need to do this to him. All right, so he's immediately gonna become a 4-3, which is really good. Um, so, the options are here, the options are everywhere. And I mean, either he's gonna play a trick that's gonna circumvent me, or he's not, so I might as well do this, that way maybe he has like a few things he might wanna take out. Like maybe that's a better answer here. It's hard to say, it's really hard to say. Like I don't know, he has four brains, that could be done, he could use a lot of things then. Uh, let's see, destroy upon that's four more. Okay, I sort of expected it, but at the same time, at least we got our, what is this, a moon shroom? Our aster shroom out. Oh no, he's gonna get rid of that too, no! Come on, I can't get anything done! Ugh, that's awful. Well. We still have some backup strats here, and definitely have some backup strats. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. This is gonna get me two, just like that. And that's gonna give me two more mushrooms as well. So if I could have, yes, perfect. Um, The only problem then, oh, the only problem is that that will get rid of a lot of my mushrooms, which stinks, but that's okay. Uh. Hmm. I'll hold off then. If there's not much more I can do, there's not much more I can do. I was hoping he would, ah, uh, well he could do this and get rid of every single one of them. I hate it when they have tricks that just so happen to be perfectly fitting against my strategy, and it's just, I don't know. Obviously that's gonna happen. Uh, this is what happens when I play strategy decks I've never played before. <laughs> at least I get another one of these guys, huh? Okay, do that. It's gonna at least give us one free damage here right away. And then I can put this here. And we can move you here, sure why not? Because at this point, I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn you on the Pine Clones. So let's turn you all on the Pine Clones, just like this. And that's something, right? That is something indeed. That is a decent amount of damage on the field. And we get you, <laughs> a free one. Oh, we turned it, okay, just really quickly, let's turn you into a pine clone as well. Oh yeah, look at this, I forgot it sort of worked that way. Oh, well, that one doesn't get turned into, uh, excuse me? Well, it's now we'll get turned into a pine clone. Hold on, he just wants to be included too, poor thing. Why damage that one? Okay, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, yeah, you could have damaged the one in the front middle. Okay, now he does, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, what was up with that? Okay, so. Some opportunities, some not so much. Oh, I see, he did that so that everybody here, all the ones that have one damage, which is just gonna be that one, is gonna get taken out by this Captain Deadbeard. All right, well, I'm definitely not playing well, but at least I'm in the running still, which is good. Ooh, he has a lot of options. He's good, he's good. Hmm. Okay, I, this is definitely not my setup yet. I definitely would need to tweak this deck a lot to really make it work. So we're gonna go ahead and hit you with four damage. Whatever you are, I don't wanna see it. So do that. I would throw this out, it does three damage though, and it's not gonna make a difference because he's still gonna take care of my two pine clones. Uh, when this starts to plant hero, that I'm not concerned about as long as he doesn't have his 87th butt stomp. Or he could have that, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, come on. I mean, he is a Professor Brainstorm. He's supposed to have a trick for literally everything. It's sort of his thing. Can that land? It does land, good. You're gonna not land, you're gonna, oh, okay, yeah, you're definitely not gonna land that. Oh, man, a plank gets plus two, plus two. I'm gonna hold on to that. I don't really wanna throw it out just yet. So I'm definitely getting rid of that jerk right away. Ooh, we got tons of options then. Tons and tons of options. Right, I hope. I mean, we can play all cards that we have in our hand right now, but then we'll be out of cards, and that's the scary part. Don't do a bonus attack, that's rude! That's rude! Okay. Well, I'm gonna play you there. I will play you here. I will get rid of you, because I just don't want you ruining my strategies. And then, I mean, this guy's gonna get strong no matter what, and he's gonna activate the shield this turn. What if I buffed up the shroom? I mean, really, if I'm gonna buff up anything, I should buff up the uh, the fire pee. Should've buffed up the shroom. <laughs> Should've buffed up the shroom for sure. And, all right, well, if he plays tricks this turn that do not get rid of the black-eyed pee, the black-eyed pee is gonna get stronger. So at least that sort of forces him to do one thing. 
Um, that hurts, but we're still gonna get rid of him. So that's good. All right, so we still, I should have buffed up. I mean, at the same time, if not, then that guy would have stayed on the field, but I would rather get rid of the guy in the middle and not the guy on the left than what happened, so no matter what. Okay, so he's a 4-5 now. He seems pretty confident in dealing with that, though. Is this a decent card? It is a decent card. But uh, how much does it help me? I'm not sure. All right, so I can play this. It's gonna buff you to a 6-5. You're definitely gonna be able to uh, make something work there. We're not winning this. There is no way we're winning this right now. No way. Oh, man. This is what happens when you don't play PvZ Heroes for a couple days to a week, you know? You just game beats your butt. It punishes you. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way, unless he starts, you know, he starts going through his own set of card fatigue here, and he starts running out of cards like crazy. I don't see how we could win. He has two cards left, but we're also suffering from the same fatigue, so it's just really bad, really bad right now. I just need to get rid of this jerk. Wish we had the uh, double strike environment right now. Get rid of you. I shouldn't have pressed play then, because I could have. I mean, I don't want to throw out a Podfather right away, anyways. I mean, I'm a, I'm losing here, and let's like get double triples for the armor. Triple, triple. Wow, I can't get anything. <laughs> let's play a deck we're familiar with instead of losing all the time, because that's incredibly entertaining, right? And then we'll go for a spending spray. It's not the best start to season or ranked. Yeah, it's season five, but I'm having fun because I'm recording the game again. I haven't done that in a little while. I need to move my phone though, because it's about to fall off the desk. And let's do our furry friends number two. Earn up at least some kind of tickets. It's better than zero. Times five is better than zero. I can guarantee that's a zebra gaber guarantee. <sighs> if we don't win this, I swear. <laughs> if I don't destroy this opponent, I will be disappointed in myself and every ability I thought I had. This is fine, this will work. Probably should have rerolled the Cosmic Kitty. I don't need him just yet. That's okay. Why is this? The colors were off on that. Um. So I could go ahead and play her right now. Um. But instead, what I'd probably do is sort of bait out anything. If he has, you know, his signature, and his um two damage down the lane, and it plays a anti-hero shroom. I'd rather him play that on the dog keeper. Yeah, I'm losing out on three potential damage, but it's. Not that big of a deal if I was gonna throw out the three damage and he was gonna get rid of the, you know, the potential of it anyways. So I, he did exactly what I wanted him to do, which is bait out the uh, signature. He's gonna do three damage to me, but if, with how this deck works, like, that doesn't really matter too much. This isn't the best combo of things, but we could make it work potentially. Especially because that makes the, uh, the cat lady free. I'm still expecting to lose this. <laughs> All right, so. I don't know if this is gonna be a mushroom focused thing or if he's gonna be, you know, pine cloning it up. We'll see, probably both. You know, he probably has some uh, buff shrooms, he probably has a pine clone. It's gonna hurt at first, but the idea is that this deck, it hits back and it hits hard. So that's what you wanna look out for. Okay, that's not perfect, but it's not bad. Three Cosmogetties is not what I wanted to start this. Really, you want card variety, but I'll make it work, right? I hope, okay, that's decent, because it gets a plus one one, which is just an early start to that. And it's like, what do you want to take out here? If you don't take care of the flag zombie, then he's gonna keep making this happen. If you don't take care of the cat lady, she's gonna hit really hard. And that's sort of the thing with this with this deck, is it makes you, it forces the enemy to make some really tough decisions, and that's what I really like about it. He will be able to do that, which is just unfortunate. And he might actually be able to take it out in total here, depending on how bad my luck is. Not entirely, but that could have been a lot worse. So this still isn't perfect. We could still be doing better. But I'm gonna put you here. I'm gonna put you here. And here's the thing. Now, I put the gourmet zombie in here as a backup and also, once again, as a deterrent. Oh, this is frustrating. The doom, the, not the doom shroom, but the punish shroom makes this so much more complicated. So much more complicated. So, here's the problem. I could go ahead and put this on the cat lady. It's gonna be a moot point. I could put this on you and give you an extra thing. I don't know if it's worth it. It's really hard to tell. Because I could put it on you, but chances are with how far down the line you are, you're probably gonna get damaged by Punish Shroom anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on you. And hope that you're not the one out of the four chances of uh, getting hit by the Punish Shroom here when you take care of. Oh, wow, I can't believe that didn't activate the shield. I'm getting really bad luck with the shield today. Please don't, please don't, thank you. 
See, I knew that was gonna happen at some point. We get an extra gourmet card. There have been times where I've turned this deck into a gourmet deck because I've given you know the enemy really hard zookeepers and cat ladies to deal with to the point where they just are forced, forced to deal with uh, all of that. And then I just, you know, while I'm doing that, I'm building up like a combination of gourmet cards. And then I just start playing gourmet cards like crazy and it's just too much for them. It's a really good deck when I'm not awful at the game, but you know what? You get what you pay for. <laughs> and, and I hope you didn't have to pay for this video. If you did, uh, I don't know what you're watching this on. It ain't YouTube. All right, well. That's not good. Shroom's gonna get plus two damage. That's also very bad, because now I can't use this on anybody. Man, I just, I can't get anything to work today. Like, really, I, I promise I'm not normally this bad. I promise with everything that I have, I'm not normally this bad at this game. Let's get you out of here. Oh my gosh. Like, I would go on win streaks. <laughs> uh. That's sort of the that's sort of the thing that had me stop playing PvZ Heroes for a little bit, is that it's one of those games where if you're not constantly, constantly, constantly playing it, you will fall out of practice and you will get your butt beat time in and time out, and that's really tough, because I just you know there's so many games to play. When I'm not playing PvZ Heroes, people are saying, hey, can you play PvZ Heroes? Want to play PvZ Heroes? You know, some people are saying, hey, can you play this other game? You know, so I'm trying to make everybody happy, but the the only person I'm really not making happy is the uh, magical, whimsical being of my win streak, because he doesn't exist right now. He does not. But hey, there is a taste of maybe my rank, or my season five ranked forecast. Maybe I'll stay this rank for the rest of my life. Unless, you know, rank six starts and I'll be even lower. But hey, <laughs> three losses, that's all you get. We're gonna go ahead and do some spending sprees. Hopefully that's a bit more exciting. Um, So let's go to our packs. We'll spend Ooh, plus two bonus. Ooh, instead of plus one bonus, what a bonus. Uh, we'll do uh, two of those and then two of those. Oh, that, yeah, that also gives a plus two bonus. Okay, then we'll do 4,000 gems. That sounds fun to me. Hopefully we get a couple legendaries at the least. And then maybe, you know, as a bit of an apology, we will uh, do the uh, daily challenge in today's episode just as, so, you know, to win something today. To get some kind of taste of victory, we will not end this episode until we finish the daily challenge and succeed at it. Hopefully it won't be too difficult then. I think I also missed like a day or two of daily challenges. Oh, well. So some uncommons I'm not really too concerned about. Some rares, ooh, the, the melon pulp might be new. Also that uh, bon, bonologist? No, no, no. Whoever the, uh, the guy with the space helmet is, some decent uh, rares there, and a good super rare, very good super rare, decent super rare, two of them, and, ah, oh, that's it. I'm just gonna touch with the, uh, okay. But look at how much climbing we're getting here. We're getting two or three cards apiece, sometimes just one, but one's good. Not bad. Um, Let me go ahead and check some of that out. We'll check this out, that's my fourth one of that, so now we have it that maxed out. Our first solar wins, which actually a really good card, and determine if there are no zombies here, make a sunflower here. That's very good for early game. Um, especially if you're playing, of course, like Solar Flare or something like that. Plants here can't be hurt. This is our third one of those. Very good still. And sixth, fifth, 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 fifth. So I, I already had all of these, actually. Okay, never mind. Nothing too exciting there. At the least, we're getting tons of spark. We already started today's episode with like 800 something sparks. We're going to be continuing forward. I didn't want gems, I wanted you. Okay, so we're going to buy a second one of those and then two packs of uh, the base set. I don't know when the next expansion is coming. Some people say that there is a new expansion being worked on. It's coming very soon. I'm not really sure what it could be. I'm really excited. Maybe something that starts with a uh, rank season six. Who knows? Hmm. I can only assume if there is a new set, it'll release at the beginning of a new season. That way, it's sort of a fresh start with all these new cards. I don't know like if that'll be like soon. If that'll be like a year from now, maybe they'll do like one expansion a year. That'd be a little weird though. I think a good phasing would definitely be two expansions a year. I mean, I don't know. That'd be a lot of cards by the end of like two or three years. Okay, some decent stuff here. I'm actually really glad to see some of these super rares. Ooh, I really needed more of that. And we get a legendary, what is it gonna be? It is nice, the bodyguard. I really like that one. Okay, we're actually one card away from finishing off moving day. That is really good to see. A lot of stuff. I mean, moving day is a decent one. I've tried it out a little bit. I like it, we just need another bodyguard. I could probably afford to do that, but of course, I think this is our first bodyguard. No, we have two now. Of course, it is Amphibious Team Up One Plateful, your super block meter to full. 
And then our fourth ducky tube zombie, we just got two of those, so I'm glad to see that. We got the pod fighter, our second one of those. Uh, our first ever moonbeam, when this does damage, shuffle two magic bean sucks into your deck. A very, very killer bean plant. The unfortunate thing is that it can't be put into my bean deck for Citron, because he's not a uh, mega ground. I don't think. I wasn't getting that mixed up, but I'm pretty sure he's defensive smarty. Okay, so now we're gonna move to the base set packs. We're gonna buy two of those, and then we'll do today's daily challenge. Uh, what happened to the base set pack? It's right here, in front of my face. <laughs> it didn't go nowhere. All right, let's try this out, see what we can get. We got ourselves 12 bonus packs, or just 12 packs. Only one of two of them are bonus packs. Okay, so, of course, we can burn through these uncommons that we've gotten a kabillion times before. Once again, it's just free, free Sparksville, USA, or any other country, doesn't really matter. Wow, there are a lot of, I, you always, I always get blown away with how many uncommons there are in the base set compared to Galactic Gardens. It's just totally a separate amount. It's just huge. A lot of rares here, a lot. I mean, there's just more cards in general. You can, I think you get more cards per pack here. I think it's more, more worth your gems when it comes to the in total card volume. Of course, there are some must-have Galactic Garden cards, but more importantly, we got ourselves another legendary, ha, the Brain Data, and yes, finally, three for one, yes, that is amazing, but more importantly, we finally got the Frozen Melon Pod. I've been wanting that for so long, so long. I mean, I need more, I need like all four of them. We got our second, our third barrel of dead beards. He was my first legendary ever. We got our first Winter Melon Splash Damage 4. When this hurts a zombie, freeze that zombie. And then finally, a Brain Nana. When played, the zombie hero loses their brains. Now, I actually had one Brain Nana from before he was a legendary. Originally, he was just a super rare. Still, very, very cool. I am so happy to have all those cards. I love the base set sometimes. Mmm, so good, so good. Let's go back and buy another one then. If we can have that kind of luck in just one of them, hopefully we can get even more. You get so much more cards than the base set. It's insane, and I love it. So, 12 more packs for us. Hopefully we can get something super fantastic. I can't wait to see. Of course, a bunch of uncommons. I'm still riding the hype train. Three legendaries, that's really good. That's sort of like the upper, uh, I guess ratio of what we would normally get. Like, I don't think we've really gotten more than three, maybe four out of one of these, but I don't know. I don't think we're gonna beat that anytime soon, or at least not in today's video. I'm getting some rares I don't really care about. I should have, I'm pretty sure on the base that I have every uncommon, every rare, and almost, we're getting close to almost every super rare. Speaking of super rares, what do we got? Not bad, I think I actually needed more of him. I think I have four of you. Definitely have four of you, and four of you, and we got another legendary guaranteed. Oh, 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 a good one right there. Not three legendaries, but a legendary is good nonetheless. Ooh, a vast expanse of nothing. I like that one, or nothing, not nothing. Okay, so that one wasn't as good as the first one, but you can't win them all. This is still a good legendary, it's our second one. It is the Zombot Sharktronic sub. Very good, very scary legendary if you play it right. And then of course we have five of you, five of you, five of you. Two of you, so yeah, we don't have many mirror nuts, but like when it comes to the super rare, I mean, the, just a the normal rare, I think we have every rare when it comes to the base set. I'm almost positive. Okay, great stuff there. So we should have a ton of sparks. We cashed in, like I said, like 850 almost sparks, like 847 or something. How much do we have now? 7,285, a lot of sparks. A whole ton, so right there, that's almost two legendaries. I mean, if you combine that with the 800 we recycled at the beginning of today's episode, it is actually enough for two legendaries, but puzzle party legendary, not legendary, daily challenge. I got legendaries just floating around in my brain. I did miss one, that's unfortunate, but I'll live. I mean, that just means I'll miss out on the pack that I never get anything good from anyways. Um, Solar Fire has a full block meter and you need to win on this turn. If she blocks, it's game over. Good thing Disco Nan is giving you a bullseye for now. Oh my. So the tough thing about that is the Disco Knot will only give zombies that have three damage or less the um, True Strike. So we got a lot of scary stuff going on here. Yep, that's just the same message. So what can we do here? Oh, so, wow, that's a lot of cards. That is a whole lot of cards. She has 40 help? Yikes, okay, how do I wanna do this? Um, I'm gonna check you out. All your cards do double damage. That is very good. Hmm. A zombie gets plus two. 
Move a plant, draw a card. There are so many options here. Like, I actually don't know what I want to do about it. The problem... Okay, so I definitely need to save this for her because she's gonna get destroyed by those berries and that won't be fun. We have one health, by the way. So we actually wanna do something to that guy that's not going to take him out. My best bet then. Hmm. Yeah, I think I know, I think I know. So, there's a lot of thinking with these ones, isn't there? <laughs> For this one, what we have to do, I think, is move you probably just anywhere, really. But how much health, how much damage do you do right away? You do three damage, so you can get, actually get true strike. We should get you like here, and then get that there. And then, I mean, some of these cards we're simply not gonna play. Captain Deadbeard's gonna go on the left. That way he can shoot through that guy and do some, actually, yeah, 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 because he'll be uh, he'll be a uh, true strike still. And then, hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. I guess you could go here. No, I don't know them. Ooh, that might have been a mistake. That actually might have been a mistake. I might have to restart this already, which would not be good. I mean, what's the hurt of putting her on the left? I guess there isn't too much of a hurt. The problem is that I still don't have anything anywhere. And yeah, I gotta restart this already. Oh, come on. <laughs> I think at the least, I think I made a mistake there. So I'm looking at this again after my 30 second ad I had to sit through to think about this and I think I'm actually doing it wrong. I think I need to, I actually think, I, I know this makes me feel silly because I'll put Ninja Imp here and then put Captain Deadbeard here and then, cause that way even, I mean, would that work? I guess we're gonna find out, I don't know. <laughs> because this isn't moving the zombie, this is moving a plant. And that's where I'm getting confused. That's a big thing. And then put Swashbuckler here, and and then of course the um the imp doesn't matter. We don't want him. So now what we could do is move you, I guess here because you need to stop the imp. And then we need to of course put Moonbase here. Wow. Yeah, that's not happening. Um, because once again we're trying to avoid. Oh, this gets. Oh, oh okay. It gets overshoot three. I didn't know that. I thought it just got whatever it got. I thought like like if it had overshoot, it would do overshoot, you know, like it would depend on the damage of the hero or the enemy or the zombie. What am I talking about? I don't know, I guess I got that wrong. Either way, you're gonna do six damage and everybody's gonna do six damage and it's gonna really stink and hurt, um, but will be enough to take her out. Oh wow, look at that, okay. And then you're gonna do two damage. I mean, that doesn't matter. Boom, but then you're gonna plus, yeah, okay. Oh, this is gonna work! Hey, look at that, this is actually gonna work! I'm like trying to put it together in my head and we actually did it, okay. Not too bad, that was a tough one. That was actually one of the tougher ones I've done, I feel. But I like it, very good. At least we get some taste of victory tonight, delicious, because I really want that cat. We're gonna get that cat for sure and that's really gonna help me improve my pet deck, in my opinion. But I think that's gonna finish it all for today. I mean, can that cat deck even go in the smashes? I hope so, we'll find out either the, the in the good way or the, the not so good way. Either way, that'll finish it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Taco Zebra so now you've watched at the end and that you are a Zebratastic viewer. And check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.